Hi, friends from around the world. Here we are again. So let us make an anger session, right? So uh, this is all bullshit, what I'm telling, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, the positive uh, feeling and positive vibe and everything will change and you know it, it doesn't happen to you and it doesn't work if that is your belief well let us uh, think of something you have uh, the churches in Europe so the big churches which took hundreds of years each church yeah? hundreds of years to build it could be two three hundred years in order to have the church as we see them now. So in the Middle Ages, uh, mainly, right? Uh, what is the reason that, uh, that people were working 300 years on one building in order to make it perfect, in order to make it lovely, in order to make it, you know, the decorative, aesthetically, uh, something which uh, the world would wonder about? It was belief. It was belief that the people had the belief this is for the glory of God, they believed in, in God, they believed in what is Christianity, and they built that, that marvels, I would say, in, in Europe. Or what was uh, the reason why, uh, you know, Christopher Columbus went to uh, discover, you know, uh, the Indies, and he discovered, uh, he ended up in, in America. It was belief. And what was the reason why America was conquered? It was belief with some 500 people in the beginning and, uh, well, some thousands afterwards, but, you know, a whole continent uh, to, and a whole empire or various empires to, uh, to conquer. That is, that is belief, right? I will not say that uh, belief is uh, the, uh, the only reason, but without belief, that would not have happened. So belief is a kind of uh, basic, uh, fundamental, what you need. And you say, well, I don't have time because I'm uh, in that situation that I have to be aware 24-7 uh, about a small child. Uh, so uh, I don't have any money to spare because my, uh, I have a shitty job and I, uh, you know, I, I can't survive uh, uh, without having two or three jobs even uh, or my uh, you know my parents they don't give me even a dime and uh, I I need you know I have no education I have no Ivy League I have no I have not what what bomb 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 bom. there are all kind of uh, things which are on your mind right that you are uh, not the one who have been chosen to get to uh, some higher level well, I think uh, that uh, you are the one uh, precisely to get more easily to a higher level than anybody else. Am I, am I right? You don't know. Perhaps I'm right. Why I'm saying this? Well, you have a, a small child. Well, pff, there is something to be grateful about, right? If you're grateful, you're not angry. So there is something which you have and others they don't have. They would long to have, but you have it. You have a small child. Well, why you have a small child, uh, I will not enter into that. Perhaps you have contributed to it. Um, um, I don't know. And uh, there's a, perhaps a lesson to be learned about risk management uh, uh, of your life. That might be one, something. But then uh, you need to be, uh, you, you love children. That may be the case. You, uh, you like it to be uh, dependent or to, to have, you know, supervise uh, the, the child, your child, or you have uh, even two childs, whatever. And, uh, well, it, uh, but you don't have money. So why not taking up another child from a friend, from, uh, from somebody uh, you know, uh, but, uh, who, who doesn't like to be around with child all the time, or the other way around? You don't like uh, much to be around with children, but you uh, love more to be uh, with, uh, with working, working colleagues, so to say. So when? <laughs> so you do the other way around. You switch uh, with another uh, woman, colleague, friend, and uh, she takes care of the child and you go to work and you, pay, you give her something so uh, that uh, it works out both 
uh, for you. That would be, that is not resources, right? That is resourcefulness, resourcefulness. Or you have a, a job which, uh, which doesn't fit you, you have no education, uh, well, uh, and you say it's a shitty job, I do a shitty job and I'm doing that work against my will, I'm doing badly. Well, how to think about doing this job well? Would that be uh, something uh, you added value to your employer's business? Probably yes. So if you're a servant and uh, you're doing against your will, uh, you know, the, the, in, a, in a restaurant, working in a restaurant, and, uh, you know, you're not friendly at all because you don't like that work. Okay, so now you're being good at this work and you are friendly and it's you becoming uh, an asset to your employers. And what do you think? The employer will probably be able to give you some more or you will earn more, uh, more you know, uh, tips uh, for your work. That could be a possibility or the work is not something, you know, uh, you are uh, paid according to the added value you uh, give to society. That is what you get paid. So, what is it about uh, the investment bank manager? He doesn't work more than you. Perhaps he works a bit more than you, I don't know. Uh, but he gets multiple times more paid than you, right? Is that right? It doesn't feel right, but uh, his added value to the investors is probably such that they uh, don't mind to pay uh, the fund manager X amount of money, millions, uh, whatever, uh, in order to uh, carry out his work because he earn millions, uh, he add millions in, in wealth to its customers. So it's an added value to society. And there are uh, some jobs which uh, do not add much value to society and which are repetitive, you know, they're every, every day the same thing. What, what do you need, for example, uh, for uh, a McDonald's servant? All the respect for them, uh, but to, to carry out the work. Is it 15, 20, half an hour? And you do the work. Well, uh, the uh, rocket science uh, scientist, you know, uh, it needs much more, you can, you can see. And perhaps a, a stock trader, uh, it needs much more of uh, instruction in order to get to the point uh, to make this uh, added value to its patients. So it is about the added value to society. If the job adds very low value to society, well, you can guess that the pay is low. That is, well, uh, it is what it is, so uh, you will not change it. <clears throat> so rather than uh, uh, renting against uh, the system and uh, wanting to change the system, which will not, uh, you should recognize the system and play along. I would, I would do like this. You know, if you have um, in a rowing boat and you go on a rowing boat against, or the sailing boat, even worse, a sailing boat against the wind. Well, you have to slightly go against the wind, right? But, uh, you know, plainly against the wind, where will you end up? Not very far away from where you are. So uh, it is something you need a bit of a trend, a bit of uh, steam, a bit of energy, which goes with you in order to have a certain success in society, to ride the wind, so to the ride the wave, the surfing wave. So that is what, uh, what uh, it is about. And the, the resourcefulness, it works. Now, we'll give it an, another example. You uh, have, uh, you know, a, a job where uh, you don't want, you know, your father is ill and uh, you have to be around with your father, etc. So, Again, you still have a father and something to be grateful about. You have always something to be grateful about. And then <clears throat> small changes to your life, small changes to your life, uh, will uh, bring you to a different spot when? Two, three, four years in time. 
So think of a GPS. You have a GPS. You want this point and you want to go to that point. Now, if you slightly change, that, that point is 200 kilometers away, right? If you change slightly uh, the angle where you go, so uh, instead of 90, it's um, 80, 88 level angle, uh, you will end up in a completely different place, right? Is that right? Does that make sense? So uh, you need probably make slight changes in order to end up in a different place. So that is what, what, uh, what you have to have in, in mind. Be grateful for something you are not grateful for, but others would be very much grateful if they had what you have and you have time and you have um, the possibility to uh, change things. If you don't think, uh, uh, change things, well, <laughs> you end up at the same place. And uh, if it is 30 years from now, you will be in the same place 30 years from now. If you repeat the same things, you end up with the same result. So why not change slightly things? If you have the resourcefulness, you will get to it. That was the angry session. <laughs>